Hello everyone, the Plush here, back to another video. Today we have my April 2020 free room tour. It's been a while since I've done one of these room tours. It's been at least two to three months. So I'm probably gonna do these every two to three months, maybe, maybe more, maybe less. Or every month like I did last year. But yeah, the room is in a disarray on the floor at least. But like everything else is on display. All my FNAF merch is on display. I have my own separate sections for cer certain things and everything's organized to a point I like it, but I don't have my out-of-box pops on display at the moment. They're currently upstairs, and I don't display my duplicates, but other than that, let's get into it. One more thing before we start. I do have the Balloon Circus minis. They're not all currently on display at the moment. I'm waiting until I get my action figures of them reviewed. Then I'll be doing a, probably a TFP update or something similar like that. Then I'll be making another room tour for the next month. I'm gonna try doing these monthly or every other month. So, enough rambling, let's get into it. Oh, I will not be going over into into any Lego either. I'll just be going directly over that because it's really, there's no point in going over to Lego. This is not a Lego channel, it's a FNAF and merchandise channel. But I will show it if you're interested, but it will be just really quick. All right, so start off with the smallest things to your left when you first enter a room. I have these free FNAF 2016 heads, I plush heads, sorry. Most of these I got in 2017 when they were on heavy clearance, I think they were like for $1 or something like that at Target. I really don't remember because I took off the tags and I have a spot for Freddy whenever I get them. And then to the left, we have the black light bag from Five Nights at Freddy's. This is from last year unfortunately it's broken if you saw my black friday haul it's broken or something like that or not tied so that's unfortunate i don't know how to tie that while labor so yeah that's pretty bad but yeah this one has a black light cupcake and all of them on it i do have all the black light physical pops but yeah let's move on to the next one all right sorry about that weird transition but like we have foxy cheek toy chica mangle black light bonnie Black Light Chica, Black Light Cupcake, and Black Light Foxy. Then up here we have the FNAF AR Keychain. Then above him we have the Venom Absolute Carnage from Marvel Legends. I got that at a used a new bookstore. And that is this little wall section. Sorry that there's some damage on here. I really don't know how that keeps happening. I think it's because of plastic shelves or shelves I had in here previously. So please excuse if there's any damage. The only damage I would say if I did cause is on that door. I'm gonna fix that soon, trust me. But yeah. Well, considering this is part of a room tour, here's the floor. It's an absolute disaster. I really need to get this cleaned up and it looks really, really awful at the moment. I really do not like the floor, honestly. I need to clean this up, get it organized, and we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm really struggling with space, so we have all my um, building structures with Lego sets. Building structure Lego sets with a Dragonoid from Lego Ninjago. Then we have the good stuff Black Light Green and Blue and Orange Foxy. Then down another section we have two Jumbo Lefties, Jumbo Vanny, Jumbo Rockstar Freddy. I have a funny story on how I got ju two j Jumbo Lefties. I ordered one, the payment didn't go through, and my mom, well not my mom, yeah, my mom's friend um, got me one because he's a really, really nice guy. I'm not going to say his name, but thank you, Mr. D. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't want to say his full name because, you know, like, I don't want him, you know, getting on YouTube. Just because he doesn't like the internet. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to way too much deep into that. But, yeah. Um, we have the, the small pink, purple, and green Freddy. Tie-dye Freddy, Jumbo. I will make a review on him and Foxy in a bit. I don't know when, probably after the Balloon Circus reviews, but at the same time, I might do it this before because it's considering how old they are. Jumbo Jumbo Helpy, he needs to get it reviewed as soon, re-reviewed as soon as possible because like, mold review on him, absolute garbage. Absolute, positively, absolutely garbage. Then we have Blacklight Freddy. This is a 2017 release, actually. I got this at GameStop in 2021 or 2022. I don't remember what year, but dang, I was not expecting that. I was on clearance for six bucks, too, so I was not expecting that either, honestly. Believe it or not, I get to get, I, sorry, I can't talk, but like, I got this Jumbo 
purple black light foxy for three dollars one of my, one of my local game shops was hold, having a sale for all of her jumbo merch for like three dollars i got this and the animatronic freddy you'll see here in a bit for three bucks or i paid ten bucks for this i don't remember i think it was like five or six maybe i don't remember i was in that three to six range then we have Jumbo Spring Color Wave Annie, Tie Dye Freddy, and Jumbo 16 Inch Freddy. Yeah, this is getting quite cramped now because there's only like, well, I mean, there's two shelves left. There's one at the bottom that I can fill up because there's a Jumbo Radioactive Foxy that came out. And there's like plenty of Jumbos I still need to purchase. Now, I'm not need to purchase, but want to purchase because I want to try to be Ultimate FNAF Collector. But that's going to be difficult because Biddy Bab's almost $1,000. But other than that, let's get on to the next section, my table. Alright, so here's the table. Um, nothing much. Genuinely, nothing much at all. So, it's just a mess. I got some, you know, melatonin so I can sleep. Got some, got, um, some spray for my customs that I don't even use anymore. Blown, because I'm a guy. And we have some random Lego minifigures, Benton Protector over Go to the game on this like, really amazing game, platformer version, and the actual, you know, like, console version, Go to the games. I highly recommend it. Even though this is considered shovelware or something like that, it's still a, it's a good game. It's a really good game. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend that. Then we have a Hands of Time. No, I mean, I haven't seen all this. I got to episode 6, but I'm probably going to rewatch this. Probably going to watch the pirated versions. I'm not sure yet, but yeah. Control time, control everything. I mean, I just got this because I like, like Ninjago at the time, but like, I might... I don't know. I'm probably going to keep this because it is, you know, mine now, so... Yeah. So, there was some FNAF stuff on the table that I didn't mention. I had the box topper for the Balloon Circus... I don't think this is security breach, but it might be, but who knows. Balloon Circus animatronics or cartoon characters or 3D models or something like that for FNAF. I think, in my opinion, I think they're merchandise of merchandise, honestly. But I have no idea. Then we have these pins I need to hang up, but that might not be for a while. Because, like sharp and like I have to put them back in the way they were originally which shouldn't be too hard but so it's gonna be kind of difficult to find the exact spot I had them in okay. now we're on to the big stuff the big guns one of the two one of the well one of the two sections for FNAF that's pretty large and yeah let's get into it all right so let's start off with statues so we have Vanny and Vanessa statue one of my favorite statues and then we have the Glamrock Freddy and Gregory statue, not my favorite statue, but I forgot some key components on Glamrock Freddy, like his electricity bolt on his chest and his stripe on his m mouth, lower jaw. But other than that, it's really accurate sculpted wise, but not accurate painted wise. There's just two key things missing. Entering the FNAF Pizzeria, we have a full FNAF Wave 1 set. And there is Chica behind there, she's just a little hard to see she is behind there trust me she is behind golden freddy but yeah we have the animatronic freddy i was talking about that i got for three dollars then i have the reversible heads bonnie freddy chica foxy and the youtube's bonnie which is really cool i love bonnie honestly i love bonnie he's so amazing next off we have is the action figures we have freddy bonnie chica foxy original Foxy re-release and Foxy Glow in the Dark. Then we have original Golden Freddy, a Hero World set from FNAF 1. Except there's one more that came in this set. He's on the net shelf below it, and you'll see that once we get to it. But currently we're on FNAF 1. Then we have, I didn't know if the boxes would be this valuable like a few years ago, but I have these two inch vinyl figures from Funko. And then I have all these mini, mini miscellaneous merchandise like pint size heroes, the candy dispensers, and the emojis. Alright, so we're going shelf from shelf. Um, we're going back and forth essentially. But we have the Sanshi plushies. This is Gen 2, not Gen 3. 
I'm gonna try to get Gen 3 because like that Bonnie looks a lot better and I missed out on Gen 2 Freddy and Gen 2 Golden Freddy. But then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 U2s. I still have her boxes. They're just with the McFarlane section. The Mystery Minis. I'm still waiting for my Golden Freddy U2 so this can look more complete. The Funko Racers, which are probably my favorite thing that Funko has made. Like, I don't know why they dished this. I understand it didn't sell too well because they were like 10 bucks a piece. Like $10 a piece when it came out at GameStop. $10 originally. But yeah. Then we have Popsies from FNAF 1, Wave 1. I do have Chocolate Bonnie, you'll see them in a bit. But we have Freddy, Foxy, and Golden Freddy. Alright, now in getting into the bite, we have Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So this one's pretty simple, actually. Sorry for so many voice cracks, it's been a while since I recorded. But we have the Puppet, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Toy Foxy slash Funtime Foxy slash Mangle. Mangle slash Nightmare Mangle. I really don't know which one this is. I'm just going to call it Mangle because it looks too much like original Mangle. Just, it, it, like, it came out on a Nightmare Wave, but, like, it's so confusing, honestly. Like, I generally think it's Mangle, but, like, I don't know who this is. But, in my, in my head canon, this is Mangle. But, yeah. We have Original Balloon Boy and a FNAF 2 Cupcake. The only FNAF 2, theoretically, FNAF 2 action figure we have is Mangle, slash Funtime Foxy, slash Toy Foxy, pre-Mangle, sorry, but yeah, um, yeah, this is the only one we have at the moment, like, they made the toy animatronics, they made all the ones we're missing, is Funko gonna repaint those? I don't think so, honestly, which is disappointing, cause, like, why would you make those molds and just make them on crappy FNAF AR skins, but not the actual characters. Like, oh, it's too scary, too scary, my censored word. Too scary, my butt, honestly. Like, they made it before. If you're willing to make FNAF 4, they should be able to make FNAF 2. The toy animatronics aren't even scary. Not, the wyverns aren't even scary. We're like tame, we're like, t we're toned down and stuff. Falcon would make an excuse to make them derpy as possible, but still, like, I don't see why they haven't made the Wyverds besides Wyvern Bonnie, honestly. I understand Wyvern Bonnie is most popular, but I don't understand why they can't make the Wyvern merch. Like, genuinely. Like, sorry for this tangent, like, early in, but like, Funko, you need to do better. Alright, sorry about that side tangent, but next off we have is... The Endo Skeleton minifigure and mystery mini. Balloon Boy minifigure from the two inch vinyl figures. Mystery minis of Shadow Bonnie, RWQFFSAFXC, I think. I don't know how to say his name. Just RXQ. Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Beak Toy Chica, Beak List Toy Chica. Pre Mangle or Damp in Mid Mangle, I guess. Me Mid. <sighs> Sorry for saying me. Mid Damage Mangle. Actual Mangle, Balloon Boy, The Puppet, A Crying Child, The Cupcake from FNAF 2, Paper Pals, Mangle Dispenser, Mangle Candy Dispenser, Golden Freddy, Squish Me, and The Mangle Hero World. Goaded figures here. Then we have the Angry M Mangle My Moji, uh, Balloon Boy, what's it called? Pint Size Hero, Toy Freddy Pint Size Hero. Mangle Pint Size Hero, yes this is Mangle because the body's silver. Then we have Toy Freddy Winking, my emoji. I think that's it, honestly. Wait, no. Over here we have formerly a dog tag, but this is the dog tag that I made into a keychain because the dog tag fell off and I got annoyed with it, so I just tossed that out. But like, Toy Chica with blood. This Bio World, I think this Bio World, Foxy Pin. Whatever Bonnie Chloe's co pin. With her Chica Chloe's co pin and with her Golden Freddy Gold. Oh, sorry, Chloe's co pin. The, now, but with the immortal, the man behind the slaughter, person that can't die but should have died with Michael. But yeah, we have Springtrap now. I'm gonna get this out of the way before we get into Springtrap. Two keychains Bonnie with blood and Celebrate with blood. But yeah, we have Spring Bonnie, Springtrap, Phantom Foxy, Phantom Balloon Boy. 
tie-dye spring trap, which I got from Fazbear Flex. I'll link them down below. Grateful guy. I'm really grateful for him. He's really amazing. I suggest giving him a follow on Instagram. He's really cool. Amazing person. I have a security office with spring trap. Re-release spring trap. Body. I do have the full set now. I just gotta, you know, review them. Then I can put them together. Then we have Phantom Foxy. Spring trap hero world. Chloe's Cove Spring Trap pin. My Moji Spring Trap. Squish Me or whatever this thing's called. Squishies Spring Trap. Original Spring Trap action figure. Then I have Free Bonnie Spring Trap. And the Spring Trap 2 inch vinyl figure. Going into our bedroom with FNAF 4. Oh god, that sounded bad, but like, just ignore that. I'm trying to think of good transitions. Maybe I should. Reliving the Nightmare, we have FNAF 4, so we have Jumbo Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Freddy, well this is the standing up version, not the sitting version that, that came out a few years ago, well a couple of years ago, Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Foxy, Nightmare Bonnie, still tagged with a Toys R Us sticker, really rare, and I could probably get like $500 off of that, but I don't want to sell that, because like, you can't find stuff like this that much anymore. Especially with Tag with the Toys R Us sticker. Then we have Nightmare Bonnie Jumbo from Hot Topic. Better than this one, but like this one's more rare, so I like it more. And I had to struggle, I had a really hard time finding this one. Like, I bought one on eBay. A sucker sent me a fake one. Couldn't return it, because like I didn't know how to do eBay returns and we didn't have money back then. So I was stuck with it. And yeah, I was just really mad, honestly. So I gave it to a friend, and he liked it better, so at least I did something good with it. But yeah, we have a Nightmare Cupcake plush, GameStop exclusive. For the action figures, we have Nightmare Freddy, two Nightmare Bonnies, one's glued. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's this one with the, like, glue on his eyes. Around his eyes. Then we have Nightmare Bonnie not glued. Nightmare Chiga, Jacko Chiga. You'll see why she's up here in a bit. Grim Foxy. And in the hero world of Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Foxy. Mystery Minis, let's make this quick. Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Foxy. Nightmare Fredbear, Nightmare, Nightmare Cupcake, Nightmarian, Fredbear Plush, which is a fan model, by the way. I don't know why we keep doing this where Funko takes fan models. No one has pointed this out yet, but like, that System Air Bonnie plush that we got, that's a fan model too. Like, it's literally a fan model. The plush is based on the fan model. But everything else is accurate, so I don't understand why. <coughs> Nightmare Mangle, Jacko Chica, and wait no, Jacko Bonnie, Jacko Chica, and Nightmare Bonnie Pine Size Hero. Last but not least, we have the Nightmarian Build a Figure. Really amazing. I just wish I had somewhere to stand this up, because like if I put them if I put them on display, it'll be kinda hard. I need a stand so I can stand this up so it could be like, you know, like standing up and have that nice, nice, I don't know how to say this, but like, a nice imposing presence, because this thing's really, this thing looks frightening, honestly. It, well, it is the incarnation of Death of FNAF, so, I want this on display, I love it. Alright, so originally this section was going to be split into two, but we have sister location. I didn't like originally how cramped it was, so like, it's partially cramped with the plushies, but like, I didn't want to cramp the figures, so I just kept them like this. Yeah, they are sporadic, but yeah, I mean, it's the only thing I can do at the moment. Bonnet, Walmart exclusive, Ballora, Funtime Freddy, Circus Baby, Lolbit, Black Eyed Entered, Funtime Foxy, Entered Original with the Grey Eye. Exotic Butters, which is for some reason a like, uh, sought after plush. I think I have all six butters. Yeah, I have all six butters. And I have, and well, I'll get, I'll get into those later. But I do have some mystery minis and a high size hero. In there. Action figure wise, we have a build a figure entered. Yes, I had to glue his leg because mine was completely broken, unfortunately. Glow in the dark, Circus Baby. You can tell it's glow in the dark because it's sandpaper texture. Circus Baby. Little bit. Original Ballora, original Funtime Foxy. The why I say this is original is because red instead of light, like a darkish pink color. Ballora, her joints are in blue instead of the gray, metallic silver slash gray. Funtime Freddy, which I should have re-released. 
Now, starting off with the minis, we have Ballora and Jumpscare Ballora with a pint sized hero of Innard. Next off, we have OG Circus Baby, but when I say OG on some of these, I mean like just their original counterpart, not the re release or anything like that, because like that, they haven't re released these at all, I don't think. Funtime Foxy, Funtime Freddy, Bon Bon, Retail Exclusive, Innard, Yendo, Walmart Exclusive Little Bit, Magician and Little Joe, Dark Springtrap, Retail Exclusive, Jump Scare Innard, Jump Scare Funtime Fox, no wait, Jump Scare, oh no, I mean I have both variants, but like Funtime Fox, the original, and Jump Scare Funtime Foxy. Then we have Jump Scare Funtime Freddy, and the rarest of the rare, we have Jump Scare Circus Baby. I saw Froggy's video on this when he had written originally came out. I managed to snag one for $75, believe it or not. Now this thing's worth in the 500 to 400, 430 to 500 dollar range. That's a lot, but still. Grateful to have this, it's a really cool mini. Going underground, we have the Twisted Ones. We have Theodore, Twisted Freddy, Twisted Bonnie, Twisted Chica, Twisted Foxy, Twisted Wolf, and Stanway the Unicorn. Then Twisted Freddy, Twisted Bonnie, Twisted Chica, Twisted Foxy, Twisted Wolf, and Theodore. Mystery minis with the fetch pin that I got from Chloe's Cove. Uh, recipes are Funko. Alright, next off we have is Pizzeria Simulator. Burning everything down, we have Pizza Simulator. Or gathering everything together. I don't know how to I don't know how to say it. But we have Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Foxy, Healthy, Lefty, Candy Cadet, Security Puppet, which is a crappy material. They haven't like, re-released this, so like it's probably stuck like that forever. I want to say re-release it in soft material. Then we have Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Foxy, Lefty, Scrap Baby. That's her name, don't get mad at me. L Chip, Pig Patch, and Orville action figures. Then down here we have some mystery minis. We have Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Bonnie, Rockstar Chica, Rockstar Foxy, Retail Exclusive Lefty, GameStop Exclusive Molten Freddy, and Jump no wait. GameStop Exclusive Molten Freddy and Scrap Baby. Then we have Helpy, Original, just original release. Happy Frog, Ned Bear Target Exclusive, Mr. Hippo, retail, no, not right, retail, but like average box. The rest of these are average boxes except for a Funtime Chica and El Chip. But after Orville, we have Pig Patch. Then we have Funtime Chica and El Chip. Let's have some fun with the next row. We have Happy Frog, Mr. Hippo, Orville the Elephant, Pig Patch, and El Chip, all original releases. Then going down a little bit more, we have the Glow in the Darks of Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Foxy, Healthy, Funtime Chica, and El Chip. Then we have Egg Baby, which I got for like $10 on Mercari, and Candy Cadet that I got from, you know, GameStop. But, um, Egg Baby is a GameStop exclusive, Candy Cadet, wait no, Egg Baby is a Target exclusive, and Candy Cadet's a Target GameStop exclusive, sorry. GameStop, and this one is Target. Now moving into spooky season, we have the Curse of Dreadbear. We have all the plushies including the 5.5 inch Dreadbear. We have all the action figures. Dreadbear, Jack O'Bonnie, Grim Foxy, Captain Foxy, and Blitztrap. Okay, so the reason why I didn't put Jack O'Chica down here, she really doesn't fit that in that well, honestly. Like, if you put her down here with the other Jack O'Lantern, she, she doesn't fit honestly like they could have painted those a lot better and then she could fit down there where these uh, jack-o-lantern animatronics are but unfortunately Funko dropped the ball on that one so I have to put her up there with an F4 so yeah then over here I have set one and two of the black light set from the these are original original slash real releases of the, you know, like two inch vinyl figures, and we have the Nightmare Nightmare Pack, which is set free. We have Black Light Box with the Walmart exclusive box for the Mystery Minis for his Balloon Circus, and then we have Pizzeria Simulator, I think it's a common box or something like that. Up here, sorry about the glare, but we have 
the Arcade Mayhem box, Security Breach, Balloon Circus without the topper. I'm gonna have to put this hopper back on there. Empty space. All right, next section is Funko Pops. I'm not going into going into detail with these, but like this is a lot of the original releases. Some are re-releases because because I missed out on getting these for retail, and and I destroyed the boxes, so I'm having to replace some. Some ain't coming in the best condition because some got water damage, but I did get. I mean, I am replacing Chico, but like I did get most of these replaced. And I do have some of the new ones, which you'll see in a second. But like this goes like three rows deep. So I'm not going to take these off or anything because that's going to be way too hard. And you can't see it, but there's tie-dye back here with the balloon circus. It's just two rows deep and you have the circuit, not circus Bonnie, what the hell? Um, Chocolate Bonnie Popsies. Then Funtime Foxy, which is in a pop protector. Got that from a Mercari seller, don't remember the name. We have Jump Scare Circus Baby. This is my second copy. It has a Walmart sticker on top of it where it gets delivered and stuff like that too. But like the specific store. And this is all, I have the full set of Balloon Circus, including the Target Con exclusive metallic set. I'm still on the hunt. I mean, I theoretically have all these in the US, but like, that have released in the US. But I do not have the Balloon Foxy Flock Pop on pre-order yet. That's probably another thing I'm gonna get. Honestly, I'm gonna have to pay a premium for it, but whatever. Animation shell and some random junk. Not junk, but Lego. I gotta put this somewhere so like it doesn't interfere with this video. But yeah, we have all my animated, animated characters pop, pops. Yeah, yeah, these are pops. Um, animate character pops from anime, animation, cartoons, mainly anime, and Ben 10 because I love Ben 10. I kind of got like four small fires because I was a fear. I had a fear of missing out. That's all I'm gonna say. Then I have a Ninjago October pack, which I gotta put the figures back in. Dang, that's dusty. Then we have Lloyd Forger down here. I haven't seen the anime yet. Um, I don't know what this is called, but it's like Sleepy Heads or something like that. Then down here, over here, we have Anya Forger. These, are, these came in blind bags, so I don't get mad at me, but they're random. Honestly, they're random. And I got them at five below. Down here we have is my Lego sets. I'm not gonna go into these. It's just way too much, and I'm not gonna go into those. But just know we have a Golden Ultra Dragon underneath this shelf and the Ultra Sonic Raider from Legacy. As you can see down there is Golden Ultra Dragon and the Ultra Sonic Raider. Arts and Crafts table. You will not know this until like 5k. Maybe more. Wait, not 1 mil. No, 100k. That's when I'll reveal this stuff. 100k. Maybe. I already revealed it technically, but I just don't want to like, you know, make it more public. But yeah, it's not anything bad, it's just like my past is kinda bad, but not at the same time, not really, I got what I deserved. But it wasn't bad, like, you know, really, really bad, like some people do. do. But yeah, I got held accountable. I almost got cancelled, that's all I'm gonna say. Nothing bad, like, really bad. But yeah, I'm not gonna go into it, I have some trauma from it, so yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention over here, I have my 3DS, and one more thing, the Marvel Pops are currently not on display, they're in a bin slash plastic tote, wait no, they're in a plastic bin slash tote, so, I'm going, I'm not, I'm not, oh my gosh, I cannot talk today, but like, I am going to put those back on display, hopefully they'll be in the May Room Tour, but yeah. Lego sets. I'm not gonna go over this. This is just this is just all Ninjago up here. It's all Ninjago. That's all you need to know. It's all Ninjago. Welcome back with Fazbear Entertainment. We have is FNAF Security Breach. This we had the full set of the soft plushies. I do have the you know non-soft ones, but I don't want to have those on display because of crap in quality. And we have U2's ones. We have. Roxanne, Monty, and Vanny. I reviewed Vanny already. I just got to review Monty and Roxy, which is going to be a pain to get out of from here, but it's going to be worth it. Glamrock Freddy action figure, Glamrock Chica, Roxanne Wolf, Montgomery Gator, and Vanny action figures. U2's Freddy, Glamrock Chica, Monty, and Roxy. Wait, uh, Roxy and Monty? For the grab and go figures, we have again Golden Freddy. Well, just metallic Golden Freddy. Metallic Springtrap, Yellow Sun, Blue Moon, 
Danny, Moonja, uh, Glamrock Freddy, Monty, Glamrock Chica, Roxanne Wolf. Then we have the digging kits or whatever you call this, mining kits. Glamrock Freddy and Glamrock Chica. Blacklight Glamrock Freddy, Blacklight Chica, Blacklight Roxanne, and Blacklight Monty. Roxanne Craftable Series 1. Mining kit box. I really want to get that chrome plated Freddy. Really do, but he's so hard to get. He's a 1 out of 48. It's like one per box or less. We have Monty and Roxanne from the Series 2 Craftables and Gold Chrome Freddy Yusus. Then over here we have FNAF Secure Breach Blind Boxes, Mystery Minis, whatever you want to call them. We have Glamrock Freddy, Black Light Glamrock Freddy, Pink, Metallic Glamrock Freddy, um, Glitter Glow Glamrock Freddy, what's this one? Glamrock Chica, Black Light Glamrock Chica, Roxanne, Black Light Roxy, Monty, Emerald Monty, Benny, and Flock Benny. And down here we have is the slimes. We have Black Light Freddy, Black Light Chica. Yes, these are Black Light, Black Light Monty, and Black Light Vanny. And we have Glow in the Dark Freddy, Glow in the Dark Chica, Glow in the Dark Monty, and Glow in the Dark Vanny. All right, so the next section off we have here is the tie dye. So we have tie dye Freddy, tie dye Foxy, tie dye Bonnie, tie dye Springtrap, tie dye Mangle slash Pre Mangle slash Toy Foxy, and tie dye Chica. Then we have Fanverse plushies with Candy, Pop Goes, and Blake. Then we have the Fanverse U2s, which is Ignited Freddy, Pop Goes Weasel from Pop Goes Evergreen, and Candy from Five Nights at Candies, and Ignited Freddy's from the Joy of Creation Reborn or Ignited Collection. I think it's from Ignited Collection just because of the eyes. Then we have the Freddy Pocket Pop with the new pose, which, you, which we never got in actual size. And then we have Bonnie too in the new pose, but then we never got an actual size. Next off we have here is the tie-dye action figures. We have tie-dye Freddy, tie-dye Bonnie, tie-dye Chica, tie-dye Mr. Cupcake, tie-dye Foxy, and tie-dye Springtrap. Alright, next off we have here is a tie-dye holiday section. For the most part, we have Freddy Frostbear, Shamrock Freddy, Frostbite Balloon Boy, Chocolate Bonnie, Liberty Chica, Candy Freddy. Inverted Chica, Inverted Foxy, Inverted Freddy, Inverted Bonnie. And over here we have Freddy Frostbear, Shamrock Freddy, Candy Freddy, Chocolate Bonnie, Easter Bonnie, Candy slash Chocolate Chica, and Liberty Chica. Then we have the Pine Size Heroes. We have Shortcake Bonnie, Chocolate Chica, Candy Freddy, Candy Cane Foxy, Streamer Chica, Lights Bonnie, and then Gingerbread Freddy. Alright, down to the Arcade Mayhem, we have VR Freddy, VR, no, no, Livewire Freddy, System Era Bonnie, this is based off the original Spring Bonnie mold, just add-ons to it, so it's not Toy Bonnie like all the other merches, Tie-Dye Toy, no, wait, High Score Toy Chica, Radioactive Foxy, which is an oddball, we should have got Spring Trap in here too, Toxic Spring Trap, and then we have... VR Freddy, Livewire Freddy, Sister Mara Bonnie, Toy Bonnie, System, High Score Toy Chica, Radioactive Foxy, and Toxic Springtrap. Then we have the Pocket Pops. We have VR Toy Freddy, Sister Mara Bonnie, High Score Toy Chica, and Radioactive Foxy. Then for the Mystery Minis, we have VR Freddy, Livewire Freddy, Sister Mara Bonnie, High Score Chica, 8 Bit Baby. Toxic Springtrap, Radioactive Foxy, Black Heart Bonnie, Heart Sick Baby, Frostbite Balloon Boy, and Arctic Ballora. Alright, next section here we have is the Balloon Circus. So we have Circus Freddy, Circus Bonnie, Circus Foxy, Circus, right now, Balloon Freddy and Balloon Foxy. And we have our Pocket Pops of Balloon Freddy and Balloon Foxy. Then I have the two mini mystery minis I have displayed at the moment. I have one out of 72. Yellow Chica, Transparent Yellow Chica, and a Devious Red Fox. Just just your average red, black light red fox here, I guess. I, it reacts well to a black light, so I think this is black light, but I'm not sure. Then down a shelf, we have Hex. We have Hex Fredbear and Hex Spring Bonnie. 
with her cards within this Shamrock Freddy larger box compared to that other box that was on the, what's it called? Holiday shelf. Then we have a Funko Snaps with Golden, the Afton family essentially. Then we have the Originals plus Toy Bonnie. Then we have for, this is an overflow shelf essentially, but we have Hero World, Circus Baby, Ballora, Funtime Freddy, Innerd, and Dark Springtrap. I don't know why he's missing an arm, but like, I don't mind, I got the, I got the figures, it's fine. But this is the core set of the original, no, no, wait, the box set, or whatever it's called. The main core set, I guess, of the Hero Worlds. This thing was hard to get. I had to buy it from my buddy the Meme Scheme. I bought it on his eBay store. I was not expecting it to buy it from his eBay store because, like, you know, I'm a huge fan of him, and me and him are, like, good acquaintances uh, or friends. I don't really know which one is which. But, yeah, um, I, got, I bought this from his eBay store unknowingly, so that's pretty cool. I'll, get, I'll go into more context of this in a bit, but not now. Maybe in a separate video. Alright, so I'm not going to bother with the colors, so I'm just going to just, you know, say what they are, honestly. Blacklight Freddy, Blacklight Foxy, Blacklight Foxy, Blacklight Freddy, Blacklight Foxy, Blacklight Cupcake, Knockoff Foxy, Knockoff Bonnie, the UCC Distributing Weird Nightmare, Nightmare slash Original Blacklights, Blacklight Freddy, Blacklight Nightmare Freddy, Blacklight Nightmare Bonnie, Blacklight Nightmare Chica, Hero World, Blue in the Dark, Foxy and Freddy, right now, Freddy and Foxy, the Blacklight Mystery Minis, and the Glow in the Dark Mystery Minis, Original Series, these two are Walmart and Hot Topic exclusives, then these are from the Advent Calendar, Place of spots in my opinion, I mean, if, like, probably six would be fine, probably these four plus two extra would have been fine, but, like, kind of overdid it with the black lights in my opinion. Going down the shelf, we have Spring Colorway, Ignore the Broken Mug, I mean, I've repaired it, but it's still broken, but we have my FNAF pins in there. We have the black light and original, no nightmares, unfortunately, but we have Colorway, the Colorway animatronics, essentially the same as the black lights, just, you know, like, spring colorway more pastel then down here we have all my random pops so that's essentially it for those shelf these shelves let's move on to the next shelf actually before we get to the shelves here's just all my lego organization at the moment i'm probably going to move this upstairs but i have instructions in there random stuff in those two random and mcfarland pieces bionicle pieces gray light bluish gray black white red miscellany wait no that's wheels and miscellany paints acrylic paints for painting large plates random and these are just more like parts all right next shelf here we have zane's ice dragon creature and then lloyd's legendary dragon personally i like zane's ice dragon creature a bit more honestly than legendary dragon but these are the two stuff i have up here Next off we have here is my partial Lego storage and just my custom minifigures and my Ninjago figs. We have Zane Master of Ice, Kai Master of Fire, Cole Master of Earth, J Master of Lightning, Wu Master of Creation, and Garmadon Vioni slash Master of Destruction. Then down here we have is my Serpentine from Lego Ninjago. This one has my Ben 10 cards in it. I'm not going to over this in this video. And we have a scuba that's still a work in progress. Might use some Lego parts to fix that because I have basically have no choice. So I'm missing some parts. But yeah, we have the Serp original Serpentine in here. No Legacy, just original plus a uh, little OC I made to make Fire Burst. SD cards. This thing's broken. It. I do not recommend it. But yeah, we have Toy Freddy and, and Chica's. This is really deceiving, it's really confusing, but like, it's a Toy Chica, but it's on a Chica box, but it's a Funko Snaps for Chica, because this is original Chica, as you can see right there, and the eyes don't match, so you can obviously tell, and the body shape doesn't match either. Then we have Toy Freddy, which, it matches, but this is a fan-made render. Then down here, we have a To Be Reviewed section. Next up, I'm probably going to review is the Arctic Ballora, or I'm just going to keep these sealed, or my Funko Snaps I might review next. I'm not sure yet, but this will probably get more filled over time, maybe. Because, like, it is a mixed bag at the moment. 
All right, I'm gonna zoom zoom through this qu these cases qu quickly. Random minifigures for the most part. Marvel and DC on all of these. Ninjago, Power Miners, customs that I commission people or ha or collabs with friends. Marvel, FNAF AR. I don't want to keep this seen anywhere to where it can be seen. Been very happy with you ever jump scare mini game or board game from Funko. Which Freddy, what happened to you, my guy? Then over here we have some, you know, like stuff I need to put with her sets, but like we're not built yet. We have Innerd, Lulbit, Toy Freddy, Yendo. I have a huge echo in this room for some reason. Circus Baby and Nightmare Fredbear. And then Venom Venom. I found this at one of my local bookstores, but we have Venom. Disney Infinity figure, I just got this because it looked cool, I love Venom, honestly, he's my favorite MCU character, and, and no, like, Marvel character, along with Spider-Man. So down here we have the start on my Lego, Lego binders for Lego instructions, I still, have, this is still in work in progress, these two I haven't started on yet, technically, this is a FNAF wish list slash documentation, but this is from 2017, so I gotta fix this up. Because I was writing this stuff in 2017, now I have like overwhelming amount to, to write down and document. Then over here we have my Walmart exclusive original Five Nights at Freddy's box, along with all the waves up to like yeah, all the waves up to Glona, not Glona, GameStop exclusive Pizza Sim. Then the other ones are common Pizza Sim. I don't know if I have like the Target exclusive in here. But I think I do, but I'm not really sure. But these are all the boxes, just one of each of all the originals or the exclusives, etc. Down here, getting more cramped, we have is Lego minifigures and all my FNAF duplicates. I do not see a point in displaying dupli duplicates or doubles, whatever you want to call it. It's just a waste of space in my opinion. Okay, now stuff's getting very hard to access, but we have Secured Breach Wave 1, Sister Location, the Sister Location Wave, Wave 2 with the Nightmares and Spring spring Chaps down here, and the Halloween update. Then we have Wave 1 with the Golden Golden Freddy, then we have the Balloon Boy Rares, the Toy Animatronics and Spring Trap, and the Jack-O-Lanterns, and we have the Pint Sized Heroes checklist, and we have the FAR AR merch for Toy Chica, wait no, Katrina Toy Chica's um, original thing, I don't know, original packaging. I wish I still had the others, honestly. Then we have my Funko Sodas with Ben Tennyson. Uh, Chase... Who is this? Black Panther Shuri. And then Two-Face. Then down here we have... Nezure, Dark Springtrap, Lulbit, Golden Freddy, Jumpscare Funtime Foxy, and Liberty Bonnie, which is a beautiful pop. Bobo Boris. Ray Babe, Aston Miku, Sodas, Livered Golden Freddy with The Office, Plus Trap Set, Funtime Foxy and Funtime Freddy Set, Nightmare Chica Set, Control Module, Pirates Cove, The Show Stage, Pokemon V Star, now V Max, and then Ghost Freak Card, the two minifigures from the East Hall or West Hall, I don't remember. Venom Chase and Carnage Common. Down here is just the East or West Hall. Then we have Office with Golden Freddy. Backstage with Wither Chica. Wither Bonnie. With the Party Room. No, Paper Pals Party with Wither Bonnie. Bootleg, um, bootleg Shadow Bonnie. I know this is bootleg. I'm gonna get the modified, not modified. They were a version of it eventually, just I don't know when. Golden Freddy Lego mock I made, really proud of this. Toy Bonnie with one of the vents. Shadow Bonnie in the hall. Oh, no, no. Toy Chica with one of the vents. Phantom Foxy, one of the hallway cameras. Phantom Freddy with the arcade cabinet. Balloon Boy with broken, broken down Freddy. Livered Freddy, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmarian, Nightmare himself, and then Nightmare Foxy. Then down here we have my Ninjago Gardens poster thing that came with it. 
the Golden Freddy snap set, the FNAF Pez for Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica, Missing Foxy, then we have most of the Fazbear, all the Fazbear Frights except for 12 and the uh, Public Harbor original release. Then, we, then, I have, then I'm missing two for free of the FNAF uh, Tales from the Pizza Plex. Just the three recent ones plus Haps. Haps. What's the other one? Haps. Somnophobia and then Tiger Rock. Then over here we have a Charlie trilogy, both graphic novel and original comics. No original, original novels and graphic novels. Then next over here we have the Vanny and Vanessa box. Sadly got rid of the Glamrock Freddy and Gregory box. Don't know why I did that. Then over here we have some Lego promotions. Then over here I'm just gonna rush through this last part. We have the Ninjago City Gardens. Then we have some Jumbo Funko Pops, the Advent Calendar Box. Then down in here we have is Miscellaneous Lego. Miscellaneous Lego with random themes like DC. Then down here we have is Marvel and all that stuff, Infinity Saga, MCU and all that. And then we're going to repeat the cycle with Bendy's Ink Machine. I know my room's a disaster, but I have a few more things. We have the Hands of Time with the Vermilion, the Lefty Statue Box with the Lefty figure inside. I need to get that out ASAP so my floor doesn't ruin it. Then I have a hex bag down here and Lego minifigures. Finally, all my Ben 10 action figures are in here for now. They're just in temporary storage until I get another shelf. Maybe if I can fit one. I don't think I can, but these will just stay in storage for now. Alright, so apparently I have barely any access to this closet, there's not enough clearance, but in here we have all my LEGO sets that are backlog and boxes. We have larger sets and weirder boxes, storage, medium sized sets and a one weirder box, more medium sets and larger sets with two hefty brand storage bins with my Funko Soda cans and some random Lego parts and a like thrifted Lego I got. Then I have two tie-dye spring traps over here. I was gonna make a custom, but I don't think I am anymore. But yeah, let's go on to the conclusion of this room tour. Alright, so that's everything that's FNAF related, Lego related, etc. That I have currently on display. I'll do another one of these in one to two months. Probably next month I know on in all honesty. This is gonna be taking longer if I have to, you know, like keep doing this every month and the more stuff I get. I think I might do it individual sections, like one shelf, one shelf at a time. No, that's a bad idea. Three shelves at a time, then I'll make it, you know, room updates. I don't know. Probably just gonna do room updates if this gets to the point where I have like three rooms or something like that. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.